What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Let's Play Diablo 2 Resurrected. Oh god, am I excited. So while we're sitting here at the start screen, I just want to tell you a little bit about what this game means to me and what kind of playthrough this is going to be. So this game was a huge part of my teenage years. I mean, my god, I just spent every waking moment playing this game. And I can totally understand why people hate Blizzard right now. I get that. Uh, but it's Diablo 2, and I just gotta play, and I'm just gonna try and relive the glory days when Blizzard was, like, a good company that people liked, and was making the best games ever made, like Diablo 2, StarCraft, stuff like that. This is the original, uh, sort of loot box game, in a way, where the random drop element makes it insanely addictive, and that, uh, mechanic has influence throughout all modern games, pretty much. You know, you see it even in games like uh, Borderlands, just all kinds of stuff. It's just this uh, sort of a random interval conditioning where you never know what's going to drop, so you just want to make the drops happen as often as possible, and they're really, really exciting when you get that sweet, sweet, unique, or piece of legendary gear, or whatever. Um, I have read a little bit about the changes. There are a few small quality of life things, and obviously the graphical upgrades are very exciting. Um, you can auto-pick up gold and stuff. Uh, so some of the things are improved, but largely it's just exactly the same game, just with a fresh coat of paint on it. Now, to get into what kind of playthrough this is going to be, um, I'm going to make an online character, but I think we're going to play by ourselves at least for a while, unless I need to do some grinding to advance the acts. Then I will play with some other people, but I want to take my time, talk to all the NPCs, and give a really full picture of the story and uh, what it is about this game that I love so much. So, with all that out of the way, let's jump right in. I just can't wait. Oh, God. So, Marius, at last I find you. Terio, yes. Yes, now, now I recognize you of you. I should have known you'd travel in the skies. There, they're always watching. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. <laughs> oh, forgive me, Tyrion, please. It, it wasn't my fault. Not your fault? Tell me, Marius, how was it not your fault? The Wanderer. Yes. It was... It was the Wanderer. My days in the Rogue Citadel seemed so long ago. I sought refuge from my memories in the company of other outcasts. High in the mountains, past the Eastern Gate. Of the monastery and the evil 
What you claim? Dreams, memories. I couldn't tell the difference anymore. Had the evil from my dreams followed me at my heels? How had he found me here? How could this broken shell of a man, barely able to carry the weight of his own sword, be the burning terror which drove me to hide here? He seemed to, to have demons of his own. He struggled to contain. <laughs> He was losing. As I watched, I became convinced. And I was truly bad. The terror, the destruction, the, the evil I witnessed. How else could I explain them? Were these the demons from my dream or were they born within the wonder? Why did I follow him? I don't know. Why do things happen as they do in dreams? All I know is that when he beckoned, I had to follow him. And from that moment, we traveled together east. Always into the east. Oh, hell yeah, let's go! <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and create a new character. Oh, man, here we go. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play a paladin. Because I remember having uh, a lot of fun playing the uh, hammered in build. So let's create a paladin. There he is, and I love it. Like, it's the exact same animation. Oh, man. <laughs> and there I am, Jerupidus. And we're going to go ahead and create a game with a max character, uh, max player count of one. Because we just want to play by ourselves so we can get a look at the story. 
For now, anyway. Good day. All right, here we go. Let's hit the help button. So this is going to teach us all about what the uh, HUD means. And it's been a while for me, so I might actually need to uh, take a look through this for a moment here. So, right, we've got the durability. Um, hostile is when somebody wants to kill you, but we're not going to have to worry about that. And it's going to take me a while to get my uh, muscle memory back, but the most important thing is our life orb here, mana orb here. Um, this is our experience bar. And then these are all of our uh, various sort of um, menus. There's going to be a lot of those, but the inventory is probably the Good most day. important one. But we'll take a look at our character sheet in just a sec here. All right, so there's our auto map. We're going to want this up pretty much constantly. And I think I pretty much always want run on. And if you've ever wondered uh, how many clicks <laughs> does my mouse have left, uh, this game will make you wonder that. So let's talk to Warav. Well met, noble paladin. It's been a while since I've seen any of your kind in the West. It would be an honor to aid you in any way that I can. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. He was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed. Strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Lutgulain before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive, then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara, too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. And we will do that. So here's our stash. Uh, we won't need that for now, but why don't we check out our inventory? So we've got a short sword, a buckler, scroll of identify, and a scroll of town portal on us for now. Right, and let's take a look at our character. So let's talk about how this build is going to work. Uh, we don't get to be a hammered in, a, a blessed hammer paladin, I should say, uh, until level 18. So in the meantime, we're just going to kind of do um, a generic, like, melee build. And then we'll have to figure out how to allocate our uh, strength, uh, dexterity, vitality. We're not going to put any points into energy. Basically, you can never go wrong with vitality. We'll need around 40 strength and around 130 dex eventually, but we can worry about that as we level up. And let's take a look at the skill tree. This is the fun part. Um, so what we're going to do is do a couple of these low-level things. We're going to be interested in resistances right off the bat. Uh, we're going to grab might right away. And then we're going to get, like, a point in sacrifice. But where we're headed is here. But we have to wait until level 18. And then we're also going to want some holy shield as well. But we'll see those as we go along. Um, and we get to respec one time. And Akara's going to let us do that. So speaking of Akara, let's go talk to her. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, Traveler, to our camp, but I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient Sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty Citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it. But she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger, please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you. 
for all time. There is a place of great evil in the wilderness. Kasha's rogue scouts have informed me that a cave nearby is filled with shadowy creatures and horrors from beyond the grave. I fear that these creatures are massing for an attack against our encampment. If you are sincere about helping us, find the dark labyrinth and destroy the foul beasts. May the great eye watch over you. Yeah, I was going to say something tells me that uh, helping these people is going to involve killing a significant number of demons. So let's check out our quest log. Look for the den in the wilderness outside the rogue camp. And we will be doing that for sure. But let's talk to uh, the remaining people in town. We talked to Warav already. Let's talk to Kashia. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. But know this. Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. Fair enough. And who is remaining? Man, let's let's take this down for a sec and just observe the uh, graphics. Oh, is this ever sweet. It looks gorgeous, and it runs so smooth. Look at this. Hi there. I'm Charcy, the blacksmith here in camp. It's good to see some strong adventurers around here. Many of our sisters fought bravely against Diablo when he first attacked the town of Tristram. They came back to us true veterans, bearing some really powerful items. Seems like their victory was short-lived, though. Most of them are now corrupted by Andario. And this is going to be the uh, weapons and armor shop, but we don't need to worry about that right now. Our uh, level one gear should be fine for the moment. Now let's find Geed. Good day to you, partner. I'm Geed, and I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken camp. A spare weapon, some gold, a small gem is all I want in exchange for the equipment you'll need on whatever quest you might undertake. No, 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 don't be shy. All of my items are guaranteed for life and come with a two-day warranty. I'm sure they do. <laughs> and I like that his name is very similar to the word greed. I think that makes a lot of sense. And we'll worry about uh, what we can do with him later once we have some stuff. We don't really have anything on us right now. And I think that's it for town, so we gotta go find that den and... Uh, eventually we're gonna want to, uh, you know, finish up all the quests in here, and then we can, uh, go with Warriv east to loot Golane. I will cleanse this wilderness. Oh, and here we go. We get to start killing stuff. I can already hear him. There's a hand axe. That might be a bit of an upgrade. And what we do is we run around and click on stuff, and God, <laughs> I'm just so happy right now. Oh, this is so much fun. Take that, zombie. What do we got here? Health Shrine? I don't need that right now. Minor Healing Potion? I will take that. Now let's check out our Hand Axe. Right, right click. So one hand damage, four to seven. And a whole bunch of stat boost. Plus one to minimum damage, plus one to maximum damage. 60% damage to undead. I like that. There are some undead out here. Uh, 56 to attack rating against undead. And adds one to three lightning damage, six poison damage over six seconds. So let's go ahead and put that on immediately. That is nice. And that's the fun, really. We'll definitely want more scrolls of identify, stuff like that. We can worry about that later. For now, let's just click on all kinds of monsters. Oh, man. What a joy. What an absolute joy. Am I wearing boots? I wasn't, but I am now. I never use these uh, throwing potions. I don't really get it. <laughs> Maybe they're better than I'm aware of, but... 
Yeah, we just have to run over the gold, which I really like. And we'll just kind of pick up everything we see for right now to uh, sell later. Oh, I can't get him, he's so quick. And we leveled up, perfect. We don't really need to worry about that right now, though. First, we'll deal with these monsters, but now let's go ahead and grab Might, I think. So auras are sort of uh, passive. You just kind of always have them on, and they're real sweet. So we'll go ahead and put that on. And now, yep. There we go. So now we have a plus 40% damage, and what this would do, like, one of the coolest parts about Paladins is that it also buffs your, uh, party. And I think we'll just go with Vitality right away. I don't really need Strength. And you get, like, five of them. Most people, I think, just spend five per, like, stat. Unless you specifically need an amount of Strength to equip something. But so your auras are like passives that buff your whole party. They're really sweet. The one we're going to be most interested in is Concentrate. Uh, but we'll go with Might for now. And we're uh, on the hunt for that den. We'll also be interested in finding... Um, you'll notice that in town... There was like a little uh, portal... And as you go through the areas, you'll find, like, portals that you can use instead of a town portal scroll. I'm going to back up a little bit. Because we kind of didn't explore the middle. And we definitely, while we're at such a low level, want to kill every monster out here. Ooh, there's even a cave. All right. Is this the den? It is. I think I'm going to finish up. My experience bar is almost full. So I think I'm going to finish up uh, killing everything out here before I head in there. Because I think I would like to be uh, maybe level 3. Uh, I get it. I got to turn off run to recover my stamina. Can't just run forever. Now, uh, it's probably clear <laughs> already, like, maybe this goes without saying, but I am by no means an absolute expert on this game. But I did play it a lot. I do know a decent bit about it, and I understand uh, how to build things correctly, but I'm not going to be one of those people that uh, have... I don't know, like, unlimited knowledge. These guys I see, they make these videos about how to, like, perfectly farm, stuff like that. But that's not really what this uh, series is going to be about. It's mostly just going to be about reliving the glory days and just kind of having fun. So I guess the way that I would put that is, like, casual but knowledgeable, if that makes any sense. What we got here? Mana recharge? Yep, we don't need any of these. Come here, little fallen. I got an axe for you. Trap chest. Ooh, a short staff. Neat. Nothing interesting in here. Oh, there was uh, a couple of gold there. And a zombie. All right. And I see an NPC over there. We'll be interested in talking to them in a bit. But we'll, we'll go back for the den in just a little bit. I just want to finish up all these monsters. And yes. All right. Let's get some more vitality. And what do we want to do for our new skill? Could go sacrifice. Or we could just go resist fire. Yeah, let's just put a point in resist fire. Why not? Nothing wrong with that. Now, is that something I have to put on? I don't think so. Oh, it is. Okay. 
Let's talk to Flavy real quick. Turn back. I can tell that you need more experience to fight safely in the next wilderness. She's probably right. Ooh, an experience shrine. Let's grab that. That's going to give us extra experience for kills. And if that's the end of the monsters out here, we might want to make a beeline for the den then. I know I auto pick up gold, but I just can't like break the habit of clicking on it instantly. <laughs> now these shrines are temporary, so I don't have forever. But I do want to finish filling out the map and just make sure I've uh, checked everything. So it's certainly not like an emergency. But we'll try and get there as soon as we can. But I've got to believe that's just about everybody out here, so let's hit the Den of Evil now. Here we go. Evil dwells within this cave. Kill all the monsters in the den. Let's do it. Mana Shrine, don't need that. Oh, this music. It's just so nostalgic for me, this is so cool. Oh, maybe I should get out resist fire, but... Yeah, we're fine, he just takes one swing. <laughs> Not so bad. I'm just gonna start clicking on these, I don't care. Oh yeah. Man, this is so much fun. <laughs> I just can't... I can't even think straight. I'm so happy. This is just so cool. Okay, so there goes Corpse Fire. And these are like little mini bosses. They all have unique names, and they're gonna drop some cool stuff. I thought I heard a ring. Is it just a sapphire? Oh, when we leveled up. I'm not gonna worry about that right now, because I wanna maximize this experience shrine. That might be good. And once in a while on these uh, kill all monsters things, there'll be one like hiding in a corner. Okay, our experience shrine is gone. So, I'm not real sure what to do with this right now. Maybe I'm supposed to get prayer. But eh, we'll just grab some vitality. We'll worry about the skills later. And I think maybe... No, I'd have to pick between Resist Fire and uh, Might. And we're just going to go with Might. Boy, look at all these guys. This is actually a little dangerous. Keep those fingers on 1, 2, 3, 4 at the ready. we got to take out this Shaman. Because the Shamans will summon more of them. And this is our first experience with an actual... Actual mob, I would say. I am overburdened. Oh, and I'm already full on stuff, huh? All right, well, let's take a look at our inventory. There's probably some crappy things we can drop. Yeah, like these. Defense four, but it's unidentified, so I'll definitely want to identify that. Probably the crude scepter. We'll take that key. We might end up wanting it if there's a locked chest anywhere nearby. Ooh, gloves. Sweet. And some quilted quilted armor we found earlier. But I'm pretty happy about that. None of these I things are going to be uh, crazy exciting. There's got to be a way to... Uh, Organize this a bit better, right? Yeah, we want to keep our unidentified stuff. We can drop the bolts. I don't care about any of this. And probably the short bow. As much as I would like to sell all of that, it's kind of whatever, I would say.
they're not going to be worth very much. And I would rather kind of save my inventory space for um, anything that's unidentified. I can bring that stuff back to town. That stuff is actually going to be worth a little bit of money. Is this the last mob? Yes, it is. My duty here is done. <laughs> yep, return to Akara for reward. We will do that. Got it. The paladin just has so much gravitas. My duty here is done. <laughs> so sweet. I'm hearing something. Yeah, there it is. We'll take the Hell Shrine, and then let's go get our reward and maybe identify some items. You have cleansed the den of evil. You've earned my trust, and may yet restore my faith in humanity. The reward is training in the skill of your choice. Sweet, so we get a free uh, skill point. Let's go ahead and grab one point in sacrifice. I mean, why not? I guess we could do like resist fire. Yeah, okay. And I still have one more, right? So three is the maximum I wanna put in resist fire. And so we're gonna look at one point in might, one point in sacrifice, three to resist fire until level six, and then six points into a holy fire, which let's take a look at that now. Yeah, we'll be trying to get to concentration as fast as we can. <laughs> Yeah, so here's Holy Fire. And this is going to damage nearby enemies with Heavenly Flames, add fire damage to your attack, but we have to wait until level 6 to get it. But we'll just go ahead and put a bunch of points into that. Until we can respec. Which Akara is going to help us do. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andario. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. Oh, I will. She sounds like she needs to be destroyed. So that's our next quest. Here we go. Look for Blood Raven in the burial grounds next to the cold plains, and we will definitely be doing that, but let's go ahead and sell some stuff. This has 14 armor, so we'll go ahead and put that on. Yep, that's worth one. Let's see if there's anything good here. Not really. Yeah, studded lever, it's, it's got the uh, defense 40, but we need 27 strength. So we'll worry about that later, but maybe we should just buy a cap. Yeah, we have 142 gold, but it doesn't say, where does it say how much they cost? Okay, I can't, ah, uh, right at the top. Yeah, that's fine, we'll put a cap on. One of the coolest things about this game to me is that uh, all of your let's let's tab this off. All of your equipment like has an uh, asset that goes on your character, and I remember uh, when this game first came out, games didn't really do that yet. Like in RPGs, when you put on a new sword, you don't really get to see the new sword or like armor or helmets or anything. In this game, like all of them have uh, a unique asset to go on your character. It's really sweet. 
Now, where do I find the scrolls of identify? Hello. Ah, uh, so here's our respec. And we don't want to do this now, but we will want to do this at 18. And you can only do this once, so be careful. <laughs> Yeah, I can't quite buy that yet, but maybe I can sell her some stuff. Boy, these cost 80 each. Well, it's probably worth it, right? Whoa, it's worth 877. That's got a 40% chance to block. Yeah, let's put that on. And let's see. Sell that. This is worth 250. Yeah, let's just sell it so we can get some uh, scrolls of identify. And let's get back out there. Take on this next quest. Oh, did I sell everything that I don't need? Not quite, actually. Let's kill these zombies quick. Short staff of energy, okay. Let's go ahead and sell that one quick. Yes. All right, great. Now let's go kill this rogue zombie. Looking forward to it. Oh, this music. I didn't realize, uh... There are so many, like, little sounds and... Little sound effects and the songs and things like that in this game that are just so wildly nostalgic for me that I had completely forgotten about. Obviously, they still existed somewhere in the back of my mind, but I even heard them in... It must be decades now. We'll just check this back corner to fill things out. Let's go talk to Flavie. Maybe she'll let us buy now. Beware. Beyond lies mortal danger for the likes of you. For the likes of me, huh? Beware. The evil is strong ahead. Beware. Beyond lies mortal danger for the likes of you. Okay. I thought she had something else to say, but at least she's not telling us to turn back now. Ah, and there's our uh, waypoint. That can get us straight back to the rogue encampment if we need to go. Perfect. Stamina shrine, I love that. Now we can run around to our heart's content. And we're gonna need to. Scroll town portal, I'll take that. I will probably try not to use like too many of those. But they are useful in case you need to go back to town immediately and sell stuff. Which we could have been more efficient about doing. Chip diamond, I will take that. Crappy lock chest. But I do like the second stamina shrine. That's gonna make this whole area go much quicker. Oh, that effect for the dark hunters where their soul like leaves their body. <laughs> <laughs> you just axe the soul right out of them. Just paladin things, you know. Alright, and I think the uh, grayed out ones mean they're socketed. Which we can use things like gems, but what we'll be most interested in is uh, runes. For sure.
but we'll get more into that when it becomes more relevant. For now, we're just going to be uh, running around clicking on things and trying to level up as best we can. Ooh, a scroll of identify. I like that. I am overburdened. Yep, I'm full up, so you know what? Let's go ahead and fire off a town portal. Actually, the thing is, like, right there, right? Okay, let's go get it done. I can't carry anymore. I mean, all I this stuff is, like, low-grade. Like, when you see, like, cracked or damaged or whatever. So it's only going to be worth, like, I don't know, one gold. So it's probably not worth going back for. But I do want to sell everything I've got on me, because we kind of want to get ahead... I am overburdened. On the economy. Let's fill a little bit more of the map in. And this is just... It's got an almost zen quality to it. I can't carry it. I don't, I don't know what it is about it, but it just, it feels good. Like, it's just, it's a good feeling game to play. All right, let's get back to town and sell some of that stuff. Ooh, another dungeon. Cave level one. Oh. <laughs> it's all just so exciting. All right, let's head back to the encampment. Sell our crap to Charcy. Wow, that's worth 120? Crazy. And we can just sell these. I don't really need to have these on me, I don't think. And we're getting a little bit heavy on potions, I would say. Probably just four on us is fine, right? And we're probably never going to need this mana potion. That's probably good. All right, let's get back to it. We'll explore around this way first. I guess I can use that, why not? And then we'll hit that cave. Ooh, is that a belt? Perfect. Ooh, Rust Touch the Tainted. Got him. He was a little bit tougher. And some shiny new leather gloves. I'll be interested in checking those out in just a moment here. Ooh, a small charm. I like that, too. Um, charms are... I don't think they were part of the base game, if I recall. They were something released, like, a little bit later that you uh, get to keep in your inventory, but it does something passive just from sitting there, like, outside of things that you equip to your actual self. And it looks like we need to repair our uh, weapon fairly soon. Empty chest, I love that. There's another level up, how exciting. All right. So with the sash, do I have another slot? I do. So now I can keep a little bit more stuff on me. Perfect. Uh, plus 6% extra gold and resist cold at 5, but I am not level 15 yet. But that's okay for now. Let's just make sure none of these caps are better. And let's identify these leather gloves. Plus 1 to dex. I will take it. <laughs> Not super exciting, but better than nothing, for sure. Alright, what level even am I now? I haven't even really been paying attention. Level 5? Um, why don't we go ahead and do a little bit more strength? We won't need much, but 30 should allow us to equip almost anything we want. And we'll go ahead and grab a sacrifice, I think. 
just to kind of use the skill points, although we don't need it particularly. So I could do, like, I could put it on, but I don't really want to do that. Eh. Boy, those loading times are quick, aren't they? <laughs> Ooh, Ashmal the Hunter. It's actually hitting me pretty good. Oh, wow. That Breeze Blast was a little dangerous. We're finally running into, like, a little bit of resistance. Yeah, whatever. Let's just dump uh, some gloves. Because I want to check this thing out. Plus three to mana. That seems awful. Okay. Ooh, a scroll of identify. I love that. And you might be thinking, it's kind of annoying to have to manually click on everything just to identify things, but that will get rectified a little bit later on. That's what we've got to do for now. I am overburdened. Eh, cap is whatever. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this should maybe go down a floor or two. And that's my favorite quote from the uh, Fallen. They sometimes yell out Rakanishu, who is like the iconic fallen sort of unique boss little dude. I love it. I just, uh... It's just so wild to be playing this game in like, I don't know, modern times on modern hardware where, uh... You know what, let's just drink a stamina potion. we can keep moving here. But, like, how I remember this game is uh, playing on hardcore and frantically, like, doing escape quit <laughs> when you got in trouble and the computer would lag. Or, like, your connection would lag, I should say. Uh, I don't want to go to level 2 yet. I want to finish exploring up here first. And now it just, like, works so smoothly. Like, maybe if I start playing with other people at some point. Because um, we are going to show, I would say, like, a little bit of endgame grinding. I don't really want to go crazy with it because I don't want this game to consume my entire life. <laughs> Which it certainly can do. Let's identify that charm. Cool. Some poison resist? Why not? But that is, like, a central part of the game, I would say. So I'm definitely going to be interested in showing that a little bit. Doing some, uh... I guess I don't know if that's... If what I'm about to say is still current, but doing, like, Bloody Foothills runs. Stuff like that. With, uh, of course, eight people. Because uh, something that I haven't mentioned yet is that the more people you have in a game, uh, the monsters get buffs to make them still, uh... I don't know, I would say, like, properly challenging. None of the monsters in this game are, like, super challenging by any means, except for maybe the bosses. But anyway, they get buffed the more people you have because you have things like Might and other passive skills, like the I Barbarian Tap Shout. You. There's a lot of I things that you can do you. to, like, uh, buff your party. So they buff the monsters to kind of keep up with that. Did I miss on whatever this is? Okay. And I'm starting to feel like I'm almost ready to go back to town and kind of unburden myself. Boy, that one's actually taking a few hits. Oh, I broke my weapon, didn't I? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it's not broke. I just have to go back to town. Okay. I don't think we can wait any longer. Man, that is just... <laughs> it's mind-blowingly fast. I'm pretty sure I was playing this game on, like, a compact Presario. <laughs> it's 
make sure this isn't better yet. It's plus three to mana. Don't care about that. I mean, I have to wait until level 15 to use this, and I could probably use the 1400 gold now. Let's just sell it. And we don't really need any of these mana potions, so we can sell all those. I guess I can just control left click. Let's just do that. I don't have, I guess I could just put it in my hat. Why not? Plus 20 to attack rating. I'll take it. Yeah, we're sitting on like two whole things. Let's get rid of that. All right, let's go buy a few more scrolls of identify and then let's get back to it. I guess I could buy a, a Tome of Identify, right? Then it can identify uh, four times. Why not? Alright, let's get back to that cave. It's just instantaneous. I can't get over it. <laughs> You know, it's one thing for, uh, like, modern games. These seem tough. Okay, we gotta be careful here. Oh, I forgot to repair my weapon. What am I doing? Let's get out of here. <laughs> Let's make sure we have an actual weapon. Uh, but what I was gonna say is, um... What you need? It's one thing to play things on... Wait, how do I repair... Repair all equipment. There we go. Now we're back in business. We got our hand axe. But it's quite another thing to play a game as old as this that you specifically have memories of these sort of, I don't know, I would say like the cadence. And having it just be so massively upgraded that's like way, way better, right? It's ethereal, so it can't be repaired, but we're gonna put it on for now. But you know, having all these memories of how long things typically take, waiting to get past the load screens and having it just be instantaneous now and having it look this smooth and beautiful is just, it's really, really amazing. I really couldn't be happier they decided to do this. Yeah, wow, there's so much more of this. Okay. Little tent. That's pretty cool. Oh, I hate cold. Wow, they're giving me the business. This slow does not help either. Oh, God. Gotta run. I need to wait for this cold to wear off. Let's drop these guys so we don't get surrounded. There we go. Oh, they instantly cold me again. Just gotta get through it, I guess. Cold Crow, she's called. She is tough. I'm just gonna be safe and keep using potions. There we go. Wow. That, uh, like, magic blast they do? Oh, a rare, cool. <laughs> that magic blast that a lot of those guys do at the end can be very, very dangerous. Look at this. Plague Claw, Leather Gloves. Plus 19 to attack rating, plus 2 to dex, lightning resist 5, poison resist 8, and it repairs its own durability. Sick. And we even get, like, more dex. That's really, really sweet. Okay. Cool. I'm glad we came over here. I love my new gloves. I'm not gonna bother with the low quality boots. One of these minions still hanging out. God, they cold you and then they run away. It's the worst. <laughs> there we go.
I gotta probably fix my belt in a little bit here. Ooh, nice. All right, let's go more vitality. And we should be level six now, right? So I should be able to grab, yeah, like a holy bolt or something. But why don't we grab holy fire? Yeah, it gets bonuses from resist fire, which we already have three points in. And we've had might on for a while. Let's put on the uh, holy fire. And now we have like fire and poison and all kinds of stuff on our attack. I'm in for that. And let's fix up our uh, our belt a little bit. We can drop like a crew one, I think. All right, let's keep going. I'm hearing a zombie somewhere. There he is. Okay, now it's time to uh, truck all the way back <laughs> over here. Oh, and uh, something I forgot to mention, which I kind of can't believe, is that also all of these dungeons and any map in the outside world are all procedurally generated. So they're never the same. That sounded like a ring. Oh yeah, the best sound ever. And we're getting all kinds of stuff over here. I should go kill the, uh, the shaman. <laughs> yeah, but now with the uh, Holy Fire, we have a little bit of an AoE, and that does come at a premium just because of how numerous the uh, enemies are going to be. So it is a very nice to have, that is for sure. All right, let's check out some of the cool stuff we just found. 12% faster hit recovery, that's kind of whatever. Plus three to dex is nice, though. And then we found a ring, right? Plus one to energy, whatever, but we'll put it on. <laughs> These don't seem... I mean, I like the dex, for sure. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go get some more Identify stuff. And we should probably sell some stuff, so you know what? I think it's Town Portal time. We'll sell our stuff, and then we'll also get ourselves a Tome of Town Portal, I think. Yes. Alright, we'll repair all our stuff. We can get rid of this. Uh, it's unidentified. So we'll wait. We'll hold off on that. We'll keep, hold on to the plus three decks. This can go... All right. So all our stuff is repaired, and we'll go ahead and go buy uh, some scrolls. Yeah, and I think I want this tome as well. It just saves me on um, inventory space. Okay, that seems like garbage. But we'll go ahead and sell it. And yeah, we've got some... Uh, we've got four and four. That's probably fine. But I kind of don't think you could buy enough of these, right? All right, 12 should be plenty. <laughs> oh, and I guess I could just sell uh, sell this to her. Great. All right, our stuff's repaired up. Let's get back to it. Head down to cave level two. I'm sad about our ring. <laughs> it's a super lame first ring to find.
but there should be a few more unique monsters in this uh, cave. I would think. Yep, there's one right now. Wow, I wrecked him. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even drop anything cool. What a loser. Double minion, though. Let's go. Night poison. Got a cap from her. Okay. Yeah, I love that they didn't change anything about this. Like, they came up with better ideas later. Things like having healing items be on a cooldown rather than having be inventory things that you have to manage and constantly use. Stuff like that. Like, is definitely a better idea, but this game, you know, was one of the biggest games in the world. I think keeping it the same, just keeping it the way you remember it, but just making it look and run better is just fantastic. I just really couldn't be happier with this already, and I've been playing for, what, an hour? Ooh, look at that. Glowing chesty. It's huge in an amulet. Ah, my aura just killing stuff is so cool. All right, give me that amulet. Let's check it out. Plus 10 chance to cast level 3 charge bolts. I think I like the rating more. Yeah, we'll just throw this in our uh, helmet. Why not? And let's identify this amulet. Plus 20 to attack rating. Sweet. That sound. <laughs> God, it's awesome. The amulets and rings just have the most memorable sound. And that looks like everything in here. So, time to get out, uh, out of our uh, procedurally generated cave. And this video is already getting super long. I should probably just go back to town and uh, save. dealing with uh, Miss Zombie Amazon for later. So yeah, that's what we're going to do, but I just don't want to stop at all. <laughs> it's every bit as addictive as it always was. All right, that's going to be all the time I've got for today. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.